Um, yeah, I think I'll go with Exit Out. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever went to that site in my entire life. Never knew how it looked. I just want to give you an example. See, that's the first time I went there. You're like, wait, it's not the first time I did. What? What? It's not the first time you ever went to just chatting session on Twitch either, right? No. Okay, hold on one second. Gotta fix the lighting in the middle of my videos. You want to know why? Because I, I could do that. That's how unprofessional I am. I don't give a fuck. That's how raw and uncut. Wow, that was so raw. Criminal juice. You just fixed your video in the middle. Yes, I did. Uh, thank you. You like my shirt? I like it too. But anyways, um, listen. If you're a girl, this makes me. I almost just vomited right now. Let me tell you something about you fucking idiot guys out there. If you have a girlfriend and she's on OnlyFans and you're okay with that, you are a fucking, you're a loser. Straight up, out of my soul, you are a fucking cuck, weirdo, loser. You must think you look like shit. You must think you suck. You must, you must think your girlfriend is just amazing, isn't she? Oh my god, I... I better not tell her how I feel because if I do, she's going to leave me. Oh, I can't get any other girl in the world as pretty as this, I guess. You're a fucking fool. I need to be open-minded with this girl because I never had a girlfriend in my life. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to let guys jerk off to her and she's just going to show her boobs and pussy all day to these random guys that, you know, she's probably going to leave me for someday. Because that is what's going to happen, dude. Just so you know. For all you fucking losers out there that listen to girls like, well, there's nothing wrong with, uh, I can have a boyfriend and do that. Of course they want you to, they want you to hear this and make you think this way and make you think that because that's what they want to do. In all reality, the number one thing I hate more than anything is girls and guys that want attention. I, it just makes me want to vomit. And the only attention, nothing wrong with getting attention if you're actually talented and you have something cool. The only attention you ever want is to people you to look at you like a fuck doll. You're a piece of shit. You just are. And there's no way you could tell me what you do makes you feel good. Okay, most of those girls look like the most depressed bitches alive because they know through their whole entire life, no guys ever talked to them any different than besides you're a fuck doll. But it's the only reason why is because that's how you portray, your, you portray yourself. You don't care about getting smart. You don't care about uh, learning a, something. All you care about is this. Sitting there, short shorts, doing what you do. That is what, I don't know what these, it's, it's, it's fucking sad. What's even sadder are the men that sit in those chat rooms. The men that actually pay for OnlyFans. The men that actually think they're going to go out with these girls. Because he sell them some stupid little dream. Holy fuck, that shit is weird to me. It is the weirdest thing in the in the fucking planet. But yeah, a lot of men are fucking pathetic, aren't they? Ah, it makes me sad. And like I said, if you're out there and you actually have a girl, whether she's stripping, showing her ass in fucking cam, popping her legs open, all this stuff, guess what? She make me telling you it's just just because that's the way I make money. I'm like that's a nice excuse, but yeah, no, that's not what it is. You get off on fucking nerds jerking off to you and them giving you money, which then makes you feel good about yourself. And in reality, you're still insecure, but you're like I'm not insecure enough to show my pussy. I guess I don't know what it is, what that is, but I think you are the biggest cuck in the fucking planet. You are sad. You can get someone. You can get somebody else, man. At, you know, at some point, probably someone, some rich guy that donates to her, she's gonna go. She's, she's probably gonna leave you for him because he has more money. At some point, it 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 it's just is what it is. When I hear that there's guys that that have girlfriends that are actually porn stars, that shit just blows. I'm just like, 
the best part about these guys is it bothers them. But they just pretend like they're open-minded. Unless it makes sense if they're freaky. Just call it an open relationship at that point. Come on. Just call it an open relationship. Because that's just what it is. The One of the best examples of how these girls can't be trusted at all. Is I remember there's this stupid fucking dumb. It's just, all these girls are fucking dumb on Twitch. But there's this one girl named Tricky. Seems nice, but she's a fucking whore. You want to know why she's a fucking whore? Because all she does is exactly what I say. She sits there. Hey, look, I'm cute. Oh, look, I have ponytails today for all the 12-year-old boys. Yee, I'm an anime girl, whatever. She does that. But here's the part that's really gross. I was watching her speaking to, like, Mitch Jones was talking to her, right? Whatever the hell. And Mitch Jones would be sexual towards her. And her boyfriend lives with her. Boyfriend was right there. And then she'll be like, why are you pissed? And he wouldn't say it because he was like, he did. He just wanted to hold it in. It's been bothering him probably for, I, I don't know how many years he's been with her. It's been bothering him. Like, why do you got to be a fucking stupid, a fucking worthless whore on, on the internet showing your body off? You're with me. Why? He, I know it bothered him on the inside. Which, if she was that before he met her, whatever the hell, then he's the idiot. Don't remember that. Remember that. If you meet someone and they're already that, then that's your fault. That's your fault. But if you're with them and then they decide to do that, oh my god, red flags, baby. You just leave them, leave them before you fucking go crazy. That's all I gotta tell you. But here's the part that makes me sick to my stomach about these bitches because you can't trust them at all. So she, he, she, I've seen her boyfriend get mad on cam and he just leaves the house. He's like, I'm fucking leaving. He's like, you know what the hell you're doing? And it's true. It's like you're talking with these guys and you're letting them, them talk sexual to you. You want to know why you're letting them talk sexual to you? Because he's famous on Twitch and you'll do anything because you're a fucking whore. In front of your boyfriend, you're acting like a fucking slut. That's not how a girlfriend is supposed to act. Even if you want to show your boobs and stuff... You take it to the next step by letting these fucking guys talk to you, by letting Mitch Jones talk to you in a sexual way in front of your boyfriend. And then here's the best part about it. This is why I... It's like, it's so funny how I can predict the future. Guess what? They break up. Oh my god, I'm so shocked. The guy finally realized he's with a whore. He breaks up with her. And then guess what happens? few months later, she goes to hang out with Mitch Jones. Guess what? They had sex with each other. <gasps> I'm so shocked. A few weeks later, she starts fucking Mitch Jones. Exactly what I thought, you stupid slut bag. Yeah, fucking cum dumpster. Big shocker there. So for all you fucking idiots that think in your head, now if you're a fucking slut and you like that shit, you like open relationships, you like that your girlfriend's a whore, perfect for you. But if you're a good guy and you want to get a girl, that's what you have to do with your, I want a good girl. <laughs> if you want that, yeah, I don't think you should go out with girls that are, you know, have OnlyFans and they all they care about is how their body looks. It's not for you, brother. You can't trust them. And you're an idiot. If at that point you're that desperate, it's your fault. And a shout out to Asmund Gold. I love you, Asmund Gold. I love you. But I kind of not surprised that the cam girl, just chatting girl that you that that wanted to go out with you, uh, broke up with you. I'm raising the roof right now because the roof is falling on, on, on top of your head and I'm trying to hold it up for you because I, I, it, it, we could have seen that coming from a million miles away. And you try to be confident because I know that you haven't been going out with girls and shit like that and you probably think you're not. I think you're an amazing person. I think you're attractive. Everything about you has been good. You're a confident guy now. If you would just put that into the way you feel about yourself. I hope you feel more confident now that you got out with her, whatever. But even that bitch could have seen it a million miles away why that bitch wanted to talk to you all she cares about is how her body looks fake boobs fake personality she's the dumbest girl in the fucking planet and i get that you wanted to just put your cock in it i get it 
But making her your girlfriend? Come on, man. You could have seen that coming from a million miles away. It just so happens that you're one of the biggest streamers in the planet. I'm not saying that the only way you can get a girlfriend is that. But her? Definitely. Come on. If you were in Asmongold with the stupid bitch like that, go out with you. And I'm not talking about... I don't even find her attractive. I'm sorry. I don't find... If you know, I don't know I'm talking about Pink Spark. I don't even find that attractive. She's one of the ugliest girls to me in the planet. Personality sucks. I don't like fake boobs. I don't want to... I feel like I'm, I'm making... If Asmongold would ever hear this, I feel like I would make him sad. Either way I look at it, you're way better than that. You're a fucking... You're an amazing guy. And I hope one day you find a girl that's actually there for you 100%. And you will. I know you will. Okay? Love you, Asmongold. And that's it. That's all I have to say about you're a fucking loser. If you, you Come on, man. You should have known that she was going to... Come on, man. That's just pathetic. Come on. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you for watching. If this offended you good, I don't hate you, though. Hopefully, I make you think about that a few seconds. And when, and also, you could write in my comment section how, at, at comment section, how at first you didn't agree with me while your girl was spreading her legs open on a cam. And now you kind of do agree with me because she broke up with you and got with someone else. Oops. Ah, big, big shocker. Big shocker.